everybody. <laughs> I think, good morning. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna get started. I think folks will still probably straggle in over the next, uh, I would guess about 15 minutes. We'll see a couple more bodies, but um, we can get started if everybody's ready. Okay, everyone has their last coffee? Okay, so uh, for people who weren't with us yesterday, I just wanted to explain the format. Um, so for the breakout sessions, uh, the people who are running breakout sessions will come up and pitch their talks, and then we will tell you where they will be, and then we will break for those breakout sessions. Um, and that is the majority of the day today, our breakout sessions. Uh, after lunch, we have a future of the internet, a future, <laughs> future of the internet keynote, or internet, if you want to call it that, um, <laughs> from uh, Malka Older, who will be joining us later today. And with uh, her keynote, we'll do um, actually a workshop as a full group, I think, in here, which we will share more about later. Um, other things, uh, any questions about logistics of the space? I think people know now the bathroom's over there. There will be food, there will be lunch later. Please eat, switch sessions as you need to. Um, and feel free to come find me and ask questions if you have any. Uh, I'm Georgia, by the way, for those of you who don't know me. Um, okay, so with that then, can I ask, I think Ya and Chris are giving their pitches. Uh, one change to this morning's program, uh, one of the sessions uh, which Shazna was doing on linear Asia's research is going to be in the second session in combination with Research ICT Africa. So there's just two sessions in this first morning breakout. Um, so Ya, do you want to come up? Oh, there you go. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Ya Chang. I'm a software engineer with the Google New York City team. Um, I'm here to talk about uh, penetration route data, uh, the history and the future, how we process the data, how we monitor the data processing, and how we will improve the data usage using new binary and new schema. So how to... Yeah. Yeah. So this is a brief history of uh, Patrice Out that's currently running on MLAM platform. The original paper was written in 2006 by uh, Timur's team from Paris. So the name is Paris Trace Out, which um, sent a reverse um, route probing uh, uh, request from the server to the client and tried to get uh, the pass as much as possible. Um, so it resolved the several uh, critical issues like diamond paths, uh, how to make sure uh, the path is um, crossing the different S and record uh, the time and the protocol. So it's uh, wildly um, recognized as an efficient uh, trace route algorithm. We start to collect data from 2013 um, till now. So the the output of our data are published in two kinds of format. The raw data um, stored on Google Cloud Storage um, on this address for data before 2017 June. And after uh, 2017 June, we move the new data to a different bucket. The ETL pipeline will pass the data into uh, schema format on BigQuery table and available for search. So this is the BigQuery um, location for the for the patches out data. Now uh, our platform is 100% open source. You can reproduce all our data using the open source code we publish. Uh, here is a brief. Um, figure um, describe the amount of data we have collected uh, for more than half a year, more than five years so far. Totally we have more than one billion tests. Um, the, in our big query table, there's uh, each hop will become a separate row, so we totally have roughly 18 billion rows in the big query table. And, oh, this is, uh, this is an older version, but it's fine. Uh, we have roughly um, eight billion uh, rows added uh, for the first half of this year, and we expected to add uh, like more than 17 billion rows in uh, 2018. So the data is um, consistently increased. We have um, 
huge amount of uh, useful information that uh, will be super helpful for all kinds of research. And I will give an example of how researchers use our data in their, in their work. And, um, uh, and the future um, PT data usage in my session. If you are interested, you can come to see my talk over there. Ah, thank you, yeah. Um, and Chris, are you giving, uh, who's giving the device one? Chris, you're right back, okay. You can also use the handheld. I'll just stand up here, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> thank you, Georgia. Wow, that's exciting. Uh, I wish I could come to your session. <laughs> Um, I'm excited, I was just talking uh, to Peter, that's a very rich uh, unexplored data set in Paris Trade Trout for uh, researchers who might be interested in that. Um, so uh, I am doing a talk this morning with Ross Shulman, my colleague at OTI in the back there, and Simone Basso, who's over here on the side, and we're going to talk about device-based measurement. Um, what is device-based measurement? Well, uh, you know, one of the, one of the things about uh, I think that some people complain about MLAB data is the crowdsourced nature of the data, um, sort of not like uh, structured research, uh, but it's possible to do both, and I think there's value in both, uh, and device-based measurement is sort of what we're pursuing uh, along the lines of that um, in various ways. And so we're automating measurement from small computers, running code, consumer devices uh, so allow different researchers to run test data in a structured way, collect a data set, use it for specific research using the MLAB platform. Uh, so taking the non-crowdsource approach to a more uh, research-centric approach, standardizing the hardware. Um, so I'm gonna talk about that. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to hit the, see, see, the, see the screen here with Dr. Blair. Here, you can walk closer to it if you use this one. Oh, thank you, Georgia. <laughs> Yeah, and it just, there it is. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, the brain cells aren't really, synapses aren't really connecting just yet. Um, coffee will be easy. So we're gonna talk about devices. I'm gonna talk about running research project <laughs> uh, <laughs> with devices. Uh, Ross is gonna talk about, uh, I'm gonna talk about doing that uh, using like an IoT style um, platform. Uh, so automating the deployment and management uh, using, a, using a platform called Resin. And uh, Ross is going to talk about Murakami, which is a sort of standalone version of that, which uh, we're hoping will eventually be kind of the, the thing you can download and use at your home. Um, and then, of so course, Simone is going to talk about the software that he has written called Measurement Kid, which is the library that undergirds both of our, uh, uh, Ross and I's work uh, on, the, on these projects. Uh, Measurement Kit is a software library that uh, basically abstracts a lot of measurement tests and allows embedded device developers and others to just compile that code and run the binaries uh, and collect the data. 